well 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 you just bought an i9 14900k or 1400kf and realized that this tiny beast is a little oven and not only does it easily go to 100 degrees celsius but it also dramatically increases your power bill well this is the right video for you because today we're gonna see how to undervolt our i9 and actually this tutorial will work for basically every k cpu on the 14th gen in order to reduce the temperature reduce the power consumption reduce the noise of the system and surprisingly even get more fps because this will reduce the throttling that your cpu is normally incurring in unless you have a custom water cooling loop because those cpus draw too much power so without further ado i say we head into the bias however before we do that please promise me one thing if this tutorial will end up helping you you will drop a like and a sub to the channel to support me. Also, you might like the builds I bring around here, okay? So with that said, let's go in the BIOS. Okay, so here we are in the BIOS. Now, what we're using today is an MSI Pro C790A Wi-Fi. Now, we wanna go into the advanced mode, but before we do that, depending on your motherboard's vendor, the names will be slightly different, okay? Now, on the channel, I try to have motherboards from every brand, ASUS, Gigabyte, MSI, ASRock, etc. So if you don't understand the settings, if you go and watch a tutorial for a different CPU, chances are the motherboard there might be from your brand. And so there you might find the right settings. You can then cross reference here for the values and be fine. Either way, I have playlists for all of that. So F7, advanced tabs. Let's go into the overclocking tab. Now overclocking explore mode, we wanna put this on expert. And then we wanna go all the way down until we find something that's called CPU cooler tuning. Now, this is likely your issue, okay? So, unless you have the best water cooler on the market or a custom loop, you cannot run water cooler, okay? So, for most people, I do recommend tower air cooler, okay? Now, what this does is this applies a wattage limit to your CPU. Now, if your BIOS doesn't have this thing, no worries. I will also show you how to do it without this tab. But, just saying, if you have a very bad cooler, put boxed cooler. If you have a very good cooler, put tower air cooler. If you have an insane cooling setup, put water cooler, okay? Because the CPU draws too much power. Now at this point, let's go into the advanced CPU configuration and you wanna find something that's called enhanced turbo and you wanna disable this thing. Trust me, this thing is supposed to give you more performance, but it's not actually gonna give you more performance. Just disable it, okay? Now, let's say your BIOS does not have the cooler tuning option. How do you set it? You set it here from the long duration power limit. Now, let's say you want to put the tower air cooler option, which is 288 watts. You go into here, you go into long duration power limit, and you put 288 watts. And in the burst, you might want to put a bit more. So the burst, you might actually want to leave it disabled fully. But if you want to just clamp it, I recommend you put here 288 either way. However, if you're following this video, just for performance, you want to put all nines here and just unlock all of them, okay? Also, the current limit, unlock it, and all of these, just unlock them all, okay? Perfect. Load line calibration, we want to leave that to normal. Now, we want to go back at this point. Again, if you have the cooler tuning in your BIOS, don't change these settings. Just set the cooler tuning and be sure to disable the enhanced turbo, okay? Now, we go, wanna go all the way down, all the way down. Also, this is unrelated to the undervolting, so test this separately, but make sure to enable your XMP profile to get your RAM at full speed, but again, not part of the tutorial, okay? So do this separately. We wanna go all the way down until we find CPU core voltage mode, and we wanna put this on offset mode right there. Now, if you have a CPU core voltage offset mode, we want to put minus by CPU. If you don't have this, it's not necessary. Now, if you put the minus there, you don't want to put the minus here as well. If you don't have the minus there, you want to put the minus now. And now here we want to put 0 0.05. Okay. Now, you want to test this undervolt and make sure it, it's, it's working for you. But if you're feeling very lucky, you might be able to get away with 0 0.075. Okay. So this is the option. But 0.05 will work even on the worst CPUs, basically. And if you are the luckiest man alive, you might be able to get 0.1. So these are the ranges we are working in, okay? So the tutorial is actually already finished. 
So if it was helpful, please drop a like and a sub. But you're probably wondering, why didn't you do a static undervolt or overclock? Well, I will actually have on the channel a static overclock slash undervolt video. But for these CPUs, this is actually the best way to run them because it's so difficult to find the stable point with a normal thing that I really do not recommend going manual for most people. And this is going to give you the best results compared to the time you put in, if it makes sense. Okay, so guys, I hope it was helpful. Please drop a like and a sub again, and see you in the next one. Bye!